What's up, y'all? Y'all tuning in with Golf and Mook. How y'all doing today? I haven't did one of these videos at work in a long time. Y'all know I like to come and talk to y'all direct sometime. So, um, I want y'all to keep my husband's family in your prayers. So, I have bad news and good news at the same time i guess um a couple weeks ago oh god my lips be horrible but anyway a couple of weeks ago my husband's um little cousin was in a car wreck and man she's 18 years old i believe jay sana's 18. so y'all pray for jay sana she's been fighting crazy fighting fighting it was two young ladies one of them was sent home um but however, Jason is still in um, in bad shape, I will say. But y'all keep his family in prayers, our family in prayers, please. Um, that is a tragedy, so unexpected. It's crazy. So y'all do that for me. Her name is Jason, y'all. Jason is strong. So all of y'all who have watched this, if y'all could please put in the description box, Jason is strong. I mean, put in the comments, Jason is strong or Sana is strong, however you want to put it. Um, so let me know y'all sending up prayers for us one time, please. I will certainly appreciate that for all my family, friends, loved ones, my YouTube family, because however, y'all are my extended family. Y'all already know that though, right? Um, I don't believe in calling fans and all that bullshit because when you have somebody that's logging in every day, listening to you, going through what you're going through, some things, or you're um, reflecting light on somebody's life in a positive way, I look at y'all as family. So y'all are family to me and hopefully I'm family to y'all. Um, and that's just what it is, right? So yeah, that part. Um, and another thing is... Charles' sister, Dominique, and Justin had their baby. I don't know if y'all remember Dominique. Um, I did a couple of videos with them, with um, Charles' sisters, Dominique and Lexi. Dominique was the baby one. And Justin, we did a video with them on Christmas. I don't think it was last year. No, it wasn't last year. It was year before last. So, those, who those of y'all who has been rocking with us since then, y'all know who I'm talking about. Anyway, they just had a baby, baby Justin, y'all. When I tell y'all, this baby is beautiful. Oh, my God. I'm talking about perfect. So, I'm going to put a little picture of baby Justin in there, y'all. So, that's the excitement for our family. Y'all know we can't wait to go to Ohio to see baby Justin and love on him because y'all know that those babies come out, they be smelling so good. So I can't wait to go smell them. That's my thing. Like, I just love newborns. And then they get about, you know. You know like nine months and then they start being bad as hell. And then, you know, when they get one and two, they horrible because Riley is on that stage of getting evicted already. And then I love them really again when they like five and six, when they can get around, they already potty train and all that type of stuff. However, I got a long time for that. We got a long time for that. So yeah, we have a new baby. So welcome baby Justin to this world, y'all. He's beautiful. I can't wait for y'all to see his picture. So I'm going to add a clip of his picture. So I want to tell y'all about that. What's another thing? Um, I'm just giving y'all update because I miss talking to y'all. You know what? Regardless, y'all know I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, right? So I think I'm going to still post Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm going to do these videos because I love doing them. So you like it, you like it, you don't, you don't. But I know who rocking with me, who's going to watch it, you know. I like this stuff. And those of y'all, excuse me, those of, of y'all that has YouTube pages, Put it in the comments so I can go subscribe to y'all channel. I'm not too good to subscribe to y'all's channel too. So that's what we're here for. Network, right? Network. So I want to get to 100,000 this. Um, I want to get to 100,000 this year. However, I was like weighing in like, okay, who? how am I going to make it to 100,000? 
So, of course, I do the giveaways, which that wasn't really helping, even though I, I do giveaways just from the goodness of my heart because I love to give away, right? Oh, God. This Airbnb, y'all. Hold on. <gasps> Okay, guys, I'm sorry about that. So, was the people checking in to my Airbnb? What's well, to our Airbnb? Let me correct myself, girl. You was pulling yourself. But to our Airbnb, uh. So, y'all know we've been going in at this Airbnb for about seven months now. And it's good and bad. Like, oh my God, it's good and bad. So, the good part is you make money, of course, and you meet new people. Some people I've met, some people I haven't, which that don't really bother me. The bad part is, and I don't even know where I left off at this conversation, but I'm just going to go on with it. So when you check into a hotel and it looks decent, and I've checked into hotels that were disgusting, and I'll ask to be moved. However, y'all know on this Airbnb, we don't hire people to clean up our rooms. We go in and clean our rooms ourselves because I know how I like it to be clean. So I'm not about to go pay somebody to have clean my property. So... I go in and I clean it myself because I know how to clean really well. Like, I've never had a problem with that, right? Since I'm on the other end of this, I never thought of how a room could look before I've checked into a hotel. Oh, my God. Some people are just disgusting. Like, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. I'm talking about... It just makes me think about... Checking into a hotel, like, ugh. have the person that came in here and cleaned this room, did they clean it well? Or did they have clean it? Because me, I'm thoroughly cleaning. Like, one room is going to take me, and I only have a bathroom, a bedroom, and a kitchen, which people rarely use the kitchen. And I'm in there two hours because I'm literally cleaning everything, wiping everything down with Lysol, Clorox wipes. The remotes, the TV, the headboard, the footboard, the everything has to be touched with a Clorox wipe, right? So, I'm make, making sure I'm getting in there. Ugh, like really getting in there. But, man, it just makes me second think about getting into a damn hotel. Like, ew. But anyway, that's that. And then all the clean, I be tired as hell running back and forth. I ain't lying to you. I be hot as hell. <sighs> irritated me and Charles being there arguing y'all it goes down <laughs> like for real but anywho um what what else I was about to tell y'all shit the Airbnb it was something else oh so this weekend is our family reunion in Montgomery Alabama so we will be in Alabama this week so let me tell y'all about my family and this is my family so I can talk about that ass now, my husband's family have family reunions all the time, which is never a problem with Pan because you're always excited to go see your family that you haven't seen in a while. And then you meet new people that you didn't even know were just, it was your family, right? So that's the good part about a family reunion. However, you go and you have activities and good food and you see people and you having fun and you mingle. It's just nice to go to a family reunion. Now, with my husband's family reunion, we may, send, we may pay $10 a shirt. That's all we've ever paid at a family reunion, $10, if that. I can't even remember, but I know it's not really much because my family, whoo, child. Now, y'all know, I know I'm going, I'm all over the place, but I have to get this out and tell y'all this, right? Because this is true facts. So, <laughs> Y'all know my granny that passed away in April. And, you know, I had to go today and we had a funeral and all that crap or whatever. So, she was run from Ohio and buried in Montgomery. And my grandpa dad, dad died, like, ugh, died last year, too, which was my grandmother's ex-husband. So, they're both in Montgomery County. I mean, in Montgomery, Alabama, right? So, I was like, okay, cool. So, when we go to the family reunion, you know, we're going to um, go see Granny and Grandpa, you know, since we haven't seen them since their headstones got put down, go clean out the gravesite, put some balloons, some flowers down, all that good stuff. That's the plan. My family, the family reunion is $70 per person. 
Y'all heard? Yeah, that's what I said. I was right. $70 per person to go to my family reunion. That just didn't sit well to me. So I asked her, my aunt, why are we paying $70 to go eat? My husband don't even eat meat, really. He eats salmon or, you know, seafood or something like that. So I asked her, well, what is the menu? Are we going to have some burgers, some green beans, some potato salad, and macaroni and cheese, and some burgers and some chicken? You want me to pay $70 to come eat that shit that I can make at home on a grill for free? I can go pay $70 for all of those things and cook it for my whole family, and it's going to taste just the way I like it. And I'm going to add some seafood in there and some salmon and all that shit for my husband. Still under $70. And they going to tear that shit up when I get done. Give me about two hours. Right? But no, they said $70 per person. Meaning my husband, my children, my granddaughter. No, I'm not doing that. It's not about the money. It's just the principle. Who charges their family set... What y'all trying to get rich off of us? Not to mention, all of my family is in Ohio coming to Montgomery, Alabama to come to this family reunion, right? So, that means one of my uncles, he has a family of five. One of them has three. My mom and her family is probably five of them. My other aunts have five, six, seven. Everybody is $70 per person. Um, no, ma'am, I will not be ascending. I don't give a fuck. It is not the, it's not about the money, but you're not about to play me to come nowhere and eat some damn barbecue food, have that I'm probably not even going to like, to come listen to a DJ and pay $70 per person. No, ma'am, will not do it. I will not be attending. And I made that very clear. I don't give a damn who like it, who don't like it. I really, uncle, aunt, whoever. No, ma'am. Nope. So a lot of my family has canceled on going to this family reunion because now we just getting pimped out our money. I can cook y'all some, matter of fact, so this is the plan. Everybody is going to come to my house and I can cook y'all some food for free because y'all my family. I love y'all. I'm happy to see y'all and I'm not going to charge y'all $70 per person to come eat. No activities, no nothing. Goodbye. So we are all meeting up Saturday, right? And we're still going to Alabama. We're not going to the family reunion that they're having, you know, no. So we're going to meet up and we're going to go to Longhorn. We're going to eat some steak and stuff for probably about $30 per person. We're going to go to the gravesite and take flowers and balloons to see my granny and my grandpa. And then we're going to get back on the highway and we're going to go back home. And we're going to have something in my house the following day. And at the and on 4th of July, it's going to be in my house. And everybody will be eating and shit for free. Some really good food. You know, they know that. You know, we're probably going to have salmon, salmon, lobster, baked beans, potato salad, green beans, macaroni and cheese, cheeseburger, chicken, uh, ribs, you know, all that good shit for free. What is going on? I'm paying $70. Get the, man, somebody please come take my phone right now. I almost passed out. And I was, if you don't pay, you don't eat. One person, one wise person said that. If you don't pay, you don't eat. I guess I won't be fucking eating in this motherfucker then because guess what? I'm not paying $70 and none of my children is either. Not to come and eat with somebody that's supposed to be my family. No. Sure not. Goodbye. And I don't care who like it. And they know I mean that. I wish this was a drink. People are crazy. Like, that's just different to me. But that's my talk for today. I love y'all. <laughs> Until next time, y'all. Peace. Y'all, I need to know how y'all feel in the comments about this family reunion. So am I wrong? If I'm wrong, y'all tell me if I'm wrong. If y'all think I'm wrong, I don't care, though. But I still want to know if y'all think I'm wrong. But I'm not paying $70 to go eat no damn basic-ass meal. And to go see a whole bunch of people I probably don't know. Nope. Goodbye. Love y'all.